Samantha Ray's hands trembled as she gripped the weathered brass knocker, the lion's head cold and unyielding under her palm. Raindrops pattered against the sagging roof of Ravenswood Manor, echoing the heavy thud of her heartbeat. She'd dreamed of this moment for so long, standing at the threshold of her family's legacy, ready to unravel the secrets that had haunted her since childhood. But now, faced with the crumbling facade and overgrown grounds, an icy tendril of fear curled in her gut. The door swung open with a groan, revealing a cavernous foyer shrouded in dust and cobwebs. She stepped inside, the musty air cold and oppressive against her skin. Shadows danced in the corners, seeming to writhe and reach for her with grasping fingers. Every instinct screamed at her to run, but Samantha forced her chin high. She had not come this far to be cowed by a few tricks of the light. Grandmother, I'm here, she called, her voice swallowed by the gloom. I got your letter. Only silence answered, thick and cloying. Samantha shivered, pulling her coat tighter. She'd never met Lenora Ray, the matriarch whose presence loomed so large over their fractured family tree. Her only memory was a faded photograph, all sharp cheekbones and piercing gray eyes that seemed to stare straight through her. The same eyes Samantha saw in her own reflection. But now Lenora was gone, leaving Samantha with nothing but a cryptic message and a crumbling mansion full of secrets. Secrets that had torn her family apart, leaving her mother a broken shell and her father a distant stranger. Secrets that had stolen her chance at a normal life, a loving home. Secrets she was determined to uncover, no matter the cost. Squaring her shoulders, Samantha ventured deeper into the house. Faded portraits glared down from the walls, their eyes seeming to follow her every step. The floorboards creaked underfoot, echoing like ghostly footsteps in the heavy silence. She climbed the grand staircase, her hand trailing along the dusty banister. At the top, a long hallway stretched into shadow, lined with closed doors. All except one. At the very end, a door stood ajar, spilling a sliver of flickering light onto the worn carpet. Heart pounding, Samantha approached, pushed it open with a trembling hand. Inside, a fire crackled in the grate, casting eerie shadows on the peeling wallpaper. An antique four-poster bed dominated the room, its velvet hangings moth-eaten and saggy. And there, on the nightstand, a letter. Addressed to her. With shaking fingers, Samantha unfolded the brittle paper. Her grandmother's spidery handwriting seemed to dance in the firelight. My dearest Samantha, it began. If you are reading this, then I am gone and you have finally come home to Ravenswood. I have waited so long for this day to share with you the truth of our family's dark legacy. Samantha's breath caught as she read on, each word hitting her like a punch to the gut. Tales of forbidden love, madness, and a curse that had claimed the lives of every firstborn Ray daughter for generations. A curse that had now fallen to her. By the time she reached the final line, tears were coursing down her cheeks. You are our last hope, Samantha. Only you can break the cycle and free us all. But, be warned, the path ahead is treacherous, and the price may be higher than you're willing to pay. Trust no one especially those closest to you. As if on cue, the bedroom door slammed shut, making Samantha jump. She spun to see a tall figure filling the frame, his features obscured by shadow. But she would know the curve of those shoulders, the tousled sweep of that dark hair anywhere. Hello, Samantha? Her stepbrother's voice was a low rasp, like velvet over gravel. Welcome home, Mel. And then he stepped into the light, blue eyes gleaming with a cold hunger that turned her blood to ice. The last piece of the puzzle snapped into place, and Samantha knew with sudden, terrifying clarity that the real danger at Ravenswood had nothing to do with ghosts or curses. It was the monster wearing her stepbrother's face, the man who would stop at nothing to claim his birthright, even if it meant spilling her blood to do it. As Samantha stared into her stepbrother's cold, predatory eyes, a wave of memories crashed over her. Memories she'd tried so hard to bury, to forget. The accidental shove down the stairs when she was eight, leaving her with a broken arm and a fear of heights. The cruel taunts and whispered threats. 
masked by charming smiles whenever their parents were near. The way he looked at her as they grew older, gaze roving her changing body with a hungry possessiveness that made her skin crawl. Damien, she whispered, hating the way her voice shook. What are you doing here? He smiled, a slow curl of his lips that never reached his eyes. Why, I'm here for the same reason you are, dear sister. To claim what's rightfully mine. He stalked closer, footsteps heavy on the creaking floorboards. Samantha backed away until she felt the cool press of the fireplace mantle against her spine. Trapped. Just like she'd always been in this twisted family web. Ravenswood is mine, she said, lifting her chin. Grandmother left it to me. Damien laughed, a short, harsh bark that made her flinch. You really think a piece of paper matters? That hag never cared about you. She was just using you, like she used all of us. His hand shot out, fingers digging into Samantha's arm hard enough to bruise. She cried out, trying to wrench away, but he yanked her closer until she could feel his hot breath on her face. But I'm done being a pawn in her sick games. This is my birthright. My destiny. And no one, especially not you, is going to stand in my way. His grip tightened, nails piercing her skin, and Samantha felt a warm trickle of blood. Panic clawed at her throat, vision blurring with tears. This couldn't be happening. Not again. She'd come to Ravenswood to escape her past, not relive it. Suddenly a voice cut through the room, low and commanding. Let her go. Damien's head snapped up, eyes narrowing. Samantha followed his gaze to see a figure emerging from the shadows by the door. Tall and broad-shouldered with tousled dark hair and stormy gray eyes that seemed to pierce straight through her. This doesn't concern you, groundskeeper. Damien spat, lip curling. Run along and tend to your hedges. But the man didn't back down, closing the distance in three long strides. Up close, Samantha could see the sharp cut of his jaw, the coiled power in his stance. Like a warrior, ready for battle. I said, he growled, let her go. Now. Now. Something in his tone, quiet yet lethally sharp, made Damien hesitate. His fingers flexed on Samantha's arm, a final, petulant squeeze, before he released her with a shove that sent her stumbling. This isn't over, he hissed, pointing a finger at Samantha. You can't escape your fate. The curse will have what it's owed. With that, he turned on his heel and stalked from the room, slamming the door behind him hard enough to rattle the windows. Samantha exhaled a shaky breath, wrapping her arms around herself as if to hold the broken pieces together. She looked up at her rescuer, vision blurred with tears. Thank you, she whispered. I don't, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't. Shh. Ah. He closed the distance between them, hands coming up to gently grip her shoulders. You're safe now. Something about his touch, warm and steady, seemed to anchor her, ease the icy fist of fear around her heart. She found herself leaning into it, craving more. I'm Samantha, she said, realizing she didn't even know his name. A wry smile touched the corner of his mouth. I know who you are, Miss Ray. Your grandmother spoke of you often. At her surprised look, he added, I'm Alec. Alec Blackwood. I've been the groundskeeper here for, well, longer than I care to admit. Blackwood. The name niggled at something in Samantha's memory. Where had she heard it before? But before she could chase the thought, a flicker of movement caught her eye. There? In the window, behind Alec. A face. Pale and luminescent as the moon, with dark holes for eyes and a gaping maw frozen in a silent scream. Samantha gasped, hand flying to her mouth. Alec spun, following her gaze, but by the time he turned back, the ghostly visage had vanished. What is it? What did you see? She shook her head, heart pounding. I... I don't know. A face. In the window. But it couldn't be, could it? Alec's expression turned grim, the planes of his face hardening. I fear there is much about Ravenswood you have yet to understand, Miss Ray. Dark secrets that have festered in these walls for far too long. 
He took her hands in his, calloused fingers gentle as they traced the bloodied crescent moons left by Damien's nails. A shiver raced down Samantha's spine. Whether from fear or something else entirely, she couldn't say. But I swear to you on my life that I will not let any harm come to you. Not from your stepbrother. Not from the curse. Not from the vengeful spirits that walk these halls. His gray eyes bored into hers, fierce with determination and another emotion she dared not name. We will unravel the truth. Break this cycle of darkness. Together. Do you trust me? Samantha swallowed hard, heart a wild flutter in her chest. She barely knew this man, this dark knight who'd swept in to save her. By all accounts, she should run screaming from this cursed place and never look back. But something deep within her, some inexplicable pull of fate, whispered that her path was now inescapably twined with his. For better or worse. Yes, she whispered, tightening her fingers around his. I trust you. And as they stood there, hands clasped, fire crackling, the ghosts of Ravenswood pressing in all around them, Samantha felt the first stirrings of something she'd never dared to hope for. The chance to be more than a lost little girl, forever chasing shadows. The chance to be someone's beloved, someone's partner, someone worth fighting for. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in lurid streaks of orange and red, Samantha stood at the top of the grand staircase, Alex's solid presence at her back. In the week since her arrival at Ravenswood, they'd scoured every inch of the crumbling mansion, poring over brittle diaries and faded photographs for any clue to break the curse. And with each day, each shared secret and brushing touch, the connection between them had grown, blossomed into something Samantha had never dared to dream of. A partnership of equals. An unshakable trust. And a love that burned brighter than any ancestral darkness. But the shadows hadn't relinquished their hold easily. Ghostly wails haunted the night. Apparitions with her mother's face, her grandmother's eyes, flickering at the edge of sight. Damien's malevolent presence lurked around every corner, his taunts and threats a constant reminder of what was at stake should they fail. Now, as the blood moon rose, fat and crimson and full of ancient power, Samantha knew it was time for the final reckoning. For the truth to be laid bare under its unforgiving light. Are you ready? Alec asked, hand resting on the small of her back. Samantha nodded, throat tight. In her hands, she clutched the two items that had started it all. Lenora's letter and the heavy iron skeleton key it had contained. A key that fit a lock deep in the bowels of Ravenswood. A lock guarding a door to a room that had been sealed longer than living memory. Together they descended the stairs, footsteps echoing in the oppressive silence. At the bottom, Damien stepped from the shadows, a sneering grotesque in the wavering candlelight. So, the lost little lamb and her mongrel knight think they can break the curse? How quaint. His laughter was sharp and cold as a knife's edge. You're just like all the others, Samantha. Weak, ut, pathetic. Destined to be another shattered doll in this house's collection. You're wrong. Samantha's voice rang out, clear and unwavering. I am not my mother or my grandmother. I am Samantha Ray, and I will not be broken. With that, she turned on her heel and strode down the hall, Alec matching her step for step. She could feel Damien's malevolent gaze boring into her back, but she refused to give him the satisfaction of seeing her fear. At the end of the hall, a narrow door awaited, set into the stone wall. The lock was a gaping maw, edges crusted with rust. With trembling fingers, Samantha fitted the key, the metal icy against her palm. It turned with a groan, tumblers falling into place with a sonorous clunk. The door swung open, stale air gusting forth to snatch at hair and clothing. Revealed within was a small, circular room, there save for a pedestal in the center. Atop it rested a heavy, leather-bound tome, clasped with a silver lock shaped like a raven's skull. The grimoire. Alec breathed, awe and dread mingling in his tone. Every secret of the curse bound in blood and inked in bone. Samantha reached for it, fingers hovering over the cracked and weathered cover. 
This was it. The answer to everything. All she had to do was open it, read the words aloud by the blood moon's glow, and it would all be over. Suddenly, Damien burst into the room, eyes wild and chest heaving. In his hand, a long, wickedly sharp dagger glinted. I won't let you take what's mine, he roared, spittle flying. Ravenswood is my birthright. The power in that book belongs to me. He lunged, blades slashing. Alec threw himself in front of Samantha, a cry ripping from his throat as the dagger plunged deep into his shoulder. He fell to his knees, blood spreading in a crimson bloom. No! Samantha screamed, catching him as he slumped. Tears coursed down her cheeks, vision blurring as she cradled his face in her hands. Alec, stay with me. Please. His eyes fluttered open, hazy with pain that still so full of love as they fixed on hers. Finish it, Samantha, he rasped, blood on his lips. Break the curse. For both of us. With a sob, she pressed her forehead to his, breathing him in one last time. Then she laid him down gently and stood to face Damien, grief and rage a maelstrom inside her. You, she seethed, voice quaking. All this death, all this suffering, and for what? Greed? Power? No more. She snatched up the grimoire, holding it aloft as the blood moon bathed the room in sanguine light. Damien howled, slashing at her wildly, but she danced away, pages flipping of their own accord to fall open to the curse's origin. The words were like acid on her tongue, burning and bitter as she read them aloud. With each stanza, the shadows grew deeper, pressing in with grasping hands. Ghostly faces swirled in the darkness, generations of rays, trapped and tormented. Her grandmother, her mother, their agony a palpable force, the weight of centuries of sorrow. Damien fell to his knees, clawing at his head as he wailed. Inky vines pulsed beneath his parchment skin, dark magic devouring him from within. Still, Samantha read on, voice rising above the spectral din. For Alec. For her family. For herself. As the final word left her lips, a blinding flash exploded through the room. Damien and the shades dissolved with a shriek, shredding into ribbons of shadow. Samantha felt the curse shatter, a thousand-pound weight lifting from her very soul. Then, silence. The grimoire crumbled to dust in her hands, its purpose served. In the stillness, a soft groan sounded. Alec! Samantha fell to her knees beside him, tears flowing anew as she gathered him into her arms. His eyes fluttered open, hazy but alive. Blessedly, wonderfully alive. You did it, he murmured, lifting a shaking hand to cup her cheek. You saved us all. No, she whispered, turning to press a kiss to his palm. We did it. Together. Dawn peeked tentatively through the windows as they held each other, a new day rising on a house cleansed of darkness. The road ahead would be long, Ravenswood still held its secrets, Samantha her scars. But with Alec by her side, she knew they could weather any storm. For in a love born of shared demons conquered, there was a strength to forge an unbreakable future. A strength to make their own destiny, free from the shackles of the past. A strength to finally, after so much pain and sorrow, live.